We got another baby in the bed. And the baby in the bed. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Are you warming up? Did you just have a shower? Did you just have a bath? Did you just have a bath? <gasps> Are you warming up? <gasps> Are you warming up? <laughs> this is her little treat. The big bed. We do not sleep with her. We do not let her sleep in here. But it is kind of fun to have a little, to pretend one day, one day, I was really, 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 really happy. She loves the lights. I swear. I swear she sees baby angels. I know you know. I know you know the secrets of the whole universe. And you can't share them with me right now, but I know you know. <gasps> My baby. What? What are we trying to say? What are we trying to say? <coughs> what are we trying to say, baby girl? You hungry? Should I get you a bottle? Hey, Malibu, guess what? Did you know that I am so lucky to be your mommy? I am so lucky to be your mommy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for choosing me. I have the honor and the privilege to see you become a bright, shining light in this world. This is my time where I get to have a little fry. It's Sunday morning, and her Abba went out to get some stuff at Target for her and get some food. I just, when she sleeps, she's been sleeping a while now, I just get to like have my moment and just cry it out about how lucky I am to be her mom. Um, I try and not cry obviously in front of her because I don't want her to think like I'm sad or anything. I'm like truly just so happy, but I don't think she'll comprehend happy tears. Or well, maybe she will. I don't know. She probably doesn't comprehend tears anyways, but um she might. She's actually very smart, so I'm gonna just say yes she will. Um but this is like this is everything I've waited for my entire life. Like this is this makes me like know there's a God, makes me know my purpose. It makes me like realize why I made it this far in life. Like I never, never thought I would. I never thought I'd have a daughter or a husband who is just the most amazing father. I get like so overwhelmed and like, again, I you know I say this a lot, but like I'm all about gratitude, right? Even in like, the worst circumstances like there should be something to be thankful for in every situation and one thing I am thankful for even though it's ruined my reputation it affects my life my husband's life my family's life and um and even my baby's life you know my daughter's life it'll have an effect on her whole life because of things I've done in my past which is not fair and I know she'll overcome it but the one thing I can find gratitude in years of destroying my reputation, my brand, and who I am as a person. People thinking I'm a terrible person for stupid, stupid things I've done in my past. Stupid things I've said and done. The one thing I'm grateful for is showing that there is hope. There's healing. There's recovery for people with mental illness. There's a chance to have a normal life, to be stable, to be emotionally regulated. Um, that you can, that I can show that change is possible even for the worst, worst type of people, I guess you could say. I don't know. Mental illness is nothing to be ashamed of, but it is something that should be talked about and something that needs to be looked after because if you don't look after it, it can lead you down a dark path and not because you're a bad person just because that's just what mental illness is and um, 
you have to want to change and you have to be the change for yourself. You have to take those actions, but it's possible as someone with borderline, it's possible to have a stable mind. It's possible to have your emotions under control and it's possible to love. It's possible to love. I never thought it'd be possible. My husband was the first person to show me love, which made me want to be better and want to learn how to love. And then my daughter, as soon as she came into this world, my daughter was, was love. I didn't have to learn. I didn't have to try to be better. I just immediately just loved. And my whole heart changed for the whole world and for everyone, including myself. I didn't know how to love myself. I didn't really know how to love someone else. And when she came, it sounds like cheesy or silly or whatever, but like my whole heart like expanded and I'm like, okay, I love my body. I love myself. I love who I am. I love that I produced this. My husband and I created love out of love, which is her. She's just pure. And I look in her eyes sometimes and I've said this before, she's like so intense. She has this like these like secrets of the universe in her, you know, which is, I think it's just to love, be loved, to be thankful. And I'm reminded every day I look at her to be thankful and grateful. And every mistake I've made in life, I'm thankful for because it led me to this path and I can teach her and I can show her and I can help her be understanding of other people, be understanding of herself, be patient with herself. And I know she'll be the most open-minded and the most friendly and kind and warm-hearted because she can learn from my mistakes and she's just pure. She's just so pure and I will do everything in my power to keep her that way. And she is, I think she can change the world and I feel like Everyone who has children are capable, their children is capable of that too, to change the world. Someone has to, right? Someone has to, not just one, but like a generation. I think each generation helps grow and further us as a society. And it brings people together. Um, these moments are just so great. <laughs> and I take all these moments in. I feel no guilt for just taking these moments in because this is all I ever want in life. And I always remember everything I've always said, which is I would trade everything in the world. I'm sure there's like a vlog of me saying this or something, but like I would trade everything in the world that I have to have a family. I remember saying this on my kitchen floor back in the day. Like, I, I had said, like, if you have a partner or a spouse, like, you're already winning. If you have a family, you're already winning. Because those are just things you just can't buy. You cannot buy love. And um, I know that I wasn't attracting love into my life because I just, I only had hate in my heart. And then I tried to learn to love and, you know... It, you know, you can try, you can, you make an effort, but like I said, I thought I knew, I thought I knew love, you know, oh, I love this person and this person treats me well and then, you know, I, you know, but it wasn't until her where I realized like love isn't about, again, actions or things people do for you. It's like the soul, the heart, like loving the person's heart, the human soul. And I like see people for their souls now, for for their glow inside and not like what they do, who they are, what they do for me, what they do for others. It's just like, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like more, it's a bigger thing than us. And I truly feel like I could, like, love everybody that I meet now, you know? Again, it's not, like, loving what people do, you know, even if they treat us bad or something like that. It's, like, loving them for, like, 
their soul and like I don't know I'm kind of blabbing at this point but you know we all come from this I call it source but we all come from a entity greater than us in this world and I think that's beautiful I think every human's beautiful I think every life is beautiful and we all just try and do our best you know And my job now is to be Malibu's mommy and protector in life. And that's what I'm going to do. And she stretches her legs. Oh my God. You did so good, Malibu. 